My name is Marius Jung and I am an industrial design student from Darmstadt. At the moment I am taking part in a design competition which is about sugar and the sugar industry. We are about 15 students who work together in groups or alone thinking about the future for sugar or possible industries for sugar. During my research I looked into different fields like I was really open to, to everything and I wanted to find something where we can apply sugar or apply sugar to a new industry that you would normally don't think of. I knew that I wanted to be a bit critical about sugar and about sh how sugar is used today, especially in food. After a short while I stumbled over Suzanne Lee and Suzanne Lee is a, basically she's a fashion designer based in London and she's growing like biological garments and things about the future of fashion design. So Sun Lee is building these biomaterial sheets. I actually think about uh, more about a yarn. Almost every garment is made of a yarn. A yarn as, as the basic, the starting point for, for a textile. So why don't we just think about getting a bio yarn instead of a bio sheet like Suzanne Lee is producing it now. I think a bio yarn could really be something which, which we could apply to the textile industry because if you have this bio yarn and you're using the newest knitting technologies, you can do whatever you want with it. So it will be a good transformation from the fashion and the style we know already to the future, future of style. We wouldn't change the style so much it's more about changing the basic material. Sugar is the, the, the key energy supplier for the whole, um, the whole process of growing biological material. After my research, I really felt like I need to define a new process in the industry or to, or to have a look who plays an important role and who could play an important role in the industry. So I started to put everything on the board. The textile industry, Suzanne Lee with the biological material, um, also farmers and the sugar industry and scientists. So I had a lot of different players in this kind of process and I started to connect them and to see what kind of process is developing at the moment and where could be like possibilities for the future to get new connections or to, to add, add new players. And if you look for example into the textile industry, there's a kind of problem circle at the moment because Greenpeace is forcing the, the huge brands to detox their, their clothing and their garments. And that's, that's really something which is at, at the starting point at the moment. We look into a future that actually needs to be changed and that's where the big fashion brands and the clothing brands start to work on right now. I started to grow these, um, this biomaterial because I really wanted to experience how the process of, of growing it actually is and what kind of characteristics the whole process has. I just took a glass tray, uh, add green tea sugar, a cider vinegar, and the mother culture called uh, kombucha. It's basically a yeast and bacteria. And this kind of mother culture gives birth to a whole new process. And the process of fermentation starts. And actually, it's building cellulose then. And after a couple of weeks, you can, you can harvest the biomaterial. So that's what I'm, what I'm doing right now. For me, it's not about um, building this material right now here. It's more about just know how it works and think about it, think about it further. That's what I want to do here. I 
I see it as a, as a starting point. A lot of scientists and people who have actually, actually a lot of uh, background knowledge are sitting together discussing about, about the future, the future in fashion. So I think it will be possible to design fabrics in a completely new way, to design textiles in a completely new way. At the moment, scientists are actually thinking about how to design enzymes and microorganisms. That means you can think of the characteristic of a, of a textile um, using the right enzymes and the right microorganisms to actually build it, to actually grow it. And that's what they are working um, on at the moment. And that's really interesting for me. But of course I can't say it will work in two years or in five years. Maybe it's 10 or 20, but still, I think there will be a change.